What is going on, lunatics? Yesterday, my studio was attacked. It was attacked by the North Koreans, and that caused audio problems. Now, do I have evidence that it was the North Koreans? I don't. Do I feel in my heart that it was the North Koreans? I don't. Could I still blame the North Koreans because they're not watching the show? 100%. Yeah, that's exactly what happened right there. So it was the North Koreans that caused an audio problem. Now, uh, we're going to, we fixed the audio issue. Uh, that should be uh, relatively, you should hear a much better quality today. And with that, we're going to get into the news. If you like this type of content, please make sure that you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. We're going to be talking today about, we got an update on Terraform Labs. We're going to talk about some price action. We've had a nice little bounce. We've lost that zero one more time. We've got some proposals up, and I'll let you know how those are going. And then we're going to look in um, on something that some people are calling utter madness. And we'll see whether it's madness or not. Uh, it's kind of, it's going to be courtesy of the Elbun project, by the way. So, uh, again, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified. Uh, check out Terra Casino. Check out Weeks uh, if you are looking for uh, burning some Luna Classic tokens. It's on you. It's the community that that does the burn. If you don't burn, then nothing burns. Uh, if you burn, something burns. And by the way, when I say that, when we we look at well, what about Binance? Well, Binance burns because of trading volume so if you get on weeks and you do some trading volume you're going to see the same thing you go to Terra casino uh you get in there and you do some uh risk-based gaming then th the same thing will happen you will end up with uh, a a nice significant sort of burn so if you want to do that get on it what are you waiting for go go sign up anyway so let's look at the uh let's look at what's going on so first up, Terraform Labs has clapped back at the SEC saying that there's no evidence for $4.7 billion in disgorgement. And they've really created a, a very simple argument here. According to lawyers for Terraform, the SEC had no evidence that the platform or Quan's activities in the U.S. caused the losses at the center of the civil case. If the commission were to claim disgorgement and civil penalties, according to Terraform, it would give the regulatory a territorially unlimited injunction which that, that's a, a, it really will be, is in fact, a fair enough argument uh, because what we're really getting down to here is that the uh, SEC has uh, quite specifically overstepped their boundary multiple times in this case, and they are being sponsored by Judge Jed Rakoff. Judge Jed Rakoff. Where do I know that name from? Oh, yeah, Rakoff token. I wonder if Jed is behind it. Oh, he's not really. He's 82 years old. The only thing that Judge Jed Rakoff does is he uh, helps the SEC to cut for cases and eats pudding, I assume, because who has teeth at 82 years old? You know what I mean? You get it. Veneers at best. You know. You know. You know? Yeah, you know. Anyway, so let's move on here. Um, for the Terra Classic price action, uh, we had a, a couple of, of articles up. It really kind of saying that the the recent Terra Classic upgrade is what drove the price up by 7% over the last couple of days. And it is true. We are about 7% over the last couple of days. Uh, in the Commonwealth, there is the USTC lockup, bad idea. There's the Lunk uh, $1 fast track recovery, fair transaction tax. There's a couple of different little pieces here that uh, when you have the time, you should go and 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 start to read through. Now, what has made it to governance, the ultimate repeg plan, uh, and then another one to rules to prevent double and network validating. How do these votes go? Uh, rules to prevent double and network validating. There's a lot of yeses over here starting to pile up. Uh, the nose with veto, just Jesus is Lord. Uh, now, Lunk Swap, in fact, decided to vote no because they don't like the wording of it. I've actually spoken with these um, uh, teams that they just they're not a fan of how this thing is worded uh, in a lot of these. Uh, not uh, again, this is not it is my opinion that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord, too, is are using uh, a loophole to manipulate and abuse the potential for power uh, and. I mean, again, if you get six, seven, eight percent and you get a couple of friends who also have a few percentage points like that, then you can sway all of these votes. And that's very important. Now, uh, I'm standing on the sideline. You can see those right there. Uh, but we're getting a lot of support right now for yes. And if that happens, Jesus is Lord, too. 
will have to go away because you'll you'll have a maximum. Um, now, the, the other thing is, <clears throat> remember, when you do these, it would require some sort of outside KYC at this point. So it would be complicated for somebody to manipulate the system and, um, dare I say, not worth it for someone to do that. So hopefully this kind of helps to continue the decentralization process. Now, if you don't understand why that's that's necessary, that's okay, because in some instances, uh, it's it's not necessary. However, it is preferred. A, pro, a, pro, a project can still survive with a centralized aspect. But remember, we're trying to keep this as decentralized as possible and allowing for the continued centralization. What if all nodes, by the way, what if all nodes decides that not only are they going to be all nodes, but they're going to, and, and they're a host for everybody, but they're only going to host you if you vote the way that they want you to vote. That's the type of centralization that we're looking to avoid in all nodes so far. By referral of Binance has been a fairly decent actor in the space. But uh, again, I, I always wonder exactly what the motive is for everybody. And could it be that because they're referred from Binance, they want to keep the project um, pumping and alive? I think so. But also, uh, could they also be part of Terraform Labs in some way, working towards uh, making, uh, making this thing go away so that everybody joins Luna? instead of Luna Classic. And that also is a possibility. I don't know. Um, I, I The only thing you do is just go by the way people vote. And so far, they haven't voted. They like to sneak in at the last minute and tip the scale, if you will. Uh, I don't like that, but that's what they do. So for price action, uh, very quickly, we're this is the third day of green candles after this dip. Uh, the dip came, as you can see, let's remind you here, we have this little parallel channel playing out. And this is not, by the way, uh, a bullish indicator. This is a bearish flag coming down. Usually means a continuation of the downside, but that consolidation in range gives you the opportunity for a reversal, just like happened over here that came back up. So over here, what we're seeing is kind of the same thing playing out. Now, uh, we came out of the, 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 the pennant, came back down for a retest, successfully retested, started to pump, and then the market dumped yet again. After the market dumped yet again, it came back into the range, wicked down below that range, and then started a very nice recovery bounce right there from these wicks. So now for the third day in a row, we're getting hammers forming. So, you know, we could be looking at some upside momentum. Now, where did I tell you that the upside momentum would probably catch resistance? Right there at that 11.7 number, uh, 11.8, if you will, right in that range, probably the next stop uh, and, and the next spot where we're going to have something of a fight. Now, if accepted into this range, then you can consider that these are, are moving this way. This will start to kind of level off. You're going to have to get over the 100 and get a continuation if you want to start minting higher uh, higher price action. Uh, and of course, that, now, of course, you're saying to yourself, obviously, that's the case, believes we're, we're not idiots. I, I, I didn't say you were. I'm just saying that that's what you got to do in order for this to happen. And uh, there's going to be some motivational stuff that I think is going to be coming pretty soon that will allow for something like this to happen. It looks like we're getting kind of a spike in meme coins. And as we expose meme coins into this space, then we might just get uh, a nice little run on something. Now, as far as total uh, volume goes, 28 million. This is not good. There's a, there's a lot of downward momentum right now. Now, that doesn't mean that the market cap is reacting poorly. The market cap is actually moving in a fairly decent pattern. So if we just grant that the, the, the market cap is 610 million, then that 28 million doesn't seem so bad. But um, USTC starting to spike again, almost at two cents. Now I told you, I have no idea what, you know, I, I don't know what this thing's going to look like, but if you pull it up over here, then you can see, you know, really the same things happen. You got that nice wicking at the bottom. You got a, a nice reversal in play. And now you're starting another spike back towards that upside. You're getting a little bit of momentum, a little bit of positivity out of it. Remember I told you guys here that in the event that we break out, you're going to have to break above this. Well, we're still trending down below. So I would expect at this point that we're still looking at prohibitive resistance here around this line right here. We haven't broken out of that yet. So in the event that we make an upside move, 2.6 cents appears to probably be the top. Now, is it the top? I don't know. It's momentum based. So if we don't get momentum, that's the top. If we do get momentum, then 
you know, maybe we get something positive out of it. But let's talk now about madness. Madness, you say? Yes, madness, I say. And what madness are we talking about? Well, we're talking about meme coin madness. I'm going to skip some of this other stuff here. Now, if you are interested in meme coins, as I think a lot of us are, you can sign up over here if you have a meme. With this form, we will create a meme contest, and then we will choose uh, among all those presented. The winner will be chosen to be the first meme of the meme coin madness game. Now, if you want to be part of that and you have a, your own token, uh, or if you're just representing some other, you want to be part of it, go for it. But then you have this right here, Meme Coin Madness. This is brought to you by the Elbun Project. Uh, dive headfirst into the wacky world of Meme Coin Madness. This isn't just a cryptocurrency game. It's your gateway to becoming a meme mogul on the chaotic, chaotic lunk chain. Here, you juggle creating and trading the zaniest meme coins you can dream up. In Meme Coin Madness, every player gets a shot at Meme Coin Magnet status. Start your journey by buying low and aiming high. But remember, this market is unpredictable as a cat video going viral can you spot the next big digital gold mine or will you tumble into a meme infested speculative abyss the real thrill kicks in every 15 minutes when the crypto gods randomly choose who can sell timing is everything be the early bird to cash out the hype or risk watching your digital dough uh, deflate and you click right here play and this is going to be at memecoinmadness.tech and you can come over here and you can get into the telegram and that will get you started so that you can uh, check it out. So if you're interested in this, then make sure that you go check out Meme Coin Madness. Now, there's also instructions on how you can play if you are such, if you're inclined and you're interested. The uh, pump phase, uh, there's dump phase. Uh, so you just have to figure out how to play this and submit your meme, and then we'll get started with the competition. And uh, if you're interested, check it out for sure. These are some of the memes that are sitting out here right now. We've got Fine, we've got Hopper, Snot, Sharky, LNC, Arnie, Arninator, Cookie Monster theme, Cookie Monster, Nike 8, uh, and then we have Shrump and Gambler. So if you want, then I would certainly go check them out. Now, if you're interested in these meme coins, for a lot of them, you come to Terraport, uh, dot finance that's where you come over and start to buy them uh, as you can see when you go through like some of them lnc like lnc i'm a holder of lnc uh, you know i've got some of these meme coins out here so if you are so inclined and you are interested then certainly go check them out and go buy it helps to support every one of these projects cryptonomy.finance is your venture capital investment fund if you're looking to launch a project and you need seed capital Contact Cryptonomy.finance today. They have a $74 million investment fund, and they processed over $10 billion in the last five years. So far, guys, on my flexible account, I've earned 0.001 Bitcoin. On my fixed account, this is where it gets interesting. We're going to make another deposit here, 0.5 Bitcoin. We're going to do this for 12 months again. We create another staking protocol with a half a Bitcoin for the next one year. Checking my Ethereum holdings, you can see that by the end of this vesting process, I will have 3.23 Ethereum more than the three that I put in. And the most important thing, gentlemen, ladies, the launch pad. The launch pad is still producing significant yields on every launch. My accrued interest so far, a little bit over $109,000. Can't stress to you enough, guys. Check out cryptonomy.finance today if you need venture capital or if you just want to earn some yield off of your holding. And if you are in the Luna Classic community, then support these projects. It's so important. And uh, hopefully the audio issue was fixed today and everybody heard this and you heard me say, woo, baby, woo. I don't know why I did that. Ric Flair did it way better. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Go check out uh, this Meme Coin Madness. Um, uh, certainly go check that out at, uh, I think it was memecoinmadness.tech or go to the Elbun Project. Uh, put the links in the description down below. You can check that out. And remember, it's not financial advice, but I'm always right.